All right, so there was a interesting post that was recently made on uh, DMT Nexus, and it was sort of uh, inspired by my Jester thread. It was it was a guy that that commented saying that he saw um, uh, Jesters in almost all of his uh, DMT breakthroughs. So then he made this thread saying another Jester thread sorry, and that's a response to my first one. And he said hi Nexians. I was idly browsing through the hyperspace, hyperspace lexicon when I came cr across this. Hyperspace jesters could also be called holo holoquins or fools. They truly resemble medieval jesters or holoquins. However, they are not silly or foolish in any way. They tend to be hyper-intelligent and might be the male version of flirty fairies. They have a fundamentally different nature that they are trying to show off, though. They like to show you things, objects, of, often flashing hyperspace tarot cards at you, which on their own can impart realms of information to you when you look at them. Uh, during uh, my most recent trip, uh, which wasn't really that recent, but it was my most recent one, I distinctly recall coming across a group of jesters, eight or so, who were holding large cards uh, which were turned around so I could only see the, bl the back face. In unison, they all turned the cards around at exactly the same time so that I could see what was on the front. Reading a bit from the hyperspace lexicon threw me, uh, really threw me. Despite the seem, seeming reality of hyperspace, I've always been in the, cam in the it's not real camp. But the description from the lexicon from the flash, flashing cards has really got me turned around. This is absolutely exactly what I experienced. I can buy into the theory of entities being some sort of unconscious archetype, but for them to do such specific things that several of us experience, I don't know. It almost changes my mind about the reality of hyperspace, which actually quite frightens me. Yeah, entity commonalities and trips are common. Seems like hyperspace is about as real as reality, however real we want to call that. The water definitely runs deep, it's a powerful compound. Further experiences likely won't deny your suspicion, and may further overthrow your preconceptions. But nothing to be scared of uh, if you tr tread respectfully and with an open mind, I feel. No arguments there. I don't know if some external entities really did hook up some kind of huge machine directly to my brain, then used it to do something that I didn't really understand while its gestures were distracting me. It seems like something that might be worth being frightened of. That place is as real as the place we live here. There are gestures, they live there, and they are waiting for us. Some, some, of us we, some of us will inevitably meet them, some will never meet them. Going to that place is an equation and the value of x determines the kind of experience you will have, just my two cents. And then I posted, uh, yeah, I came across that info on DMT Nexus a while ago while exploring the jester and uh, clown archetype. I wonder who wrote it. The jester and clown archetypes are definitely the smoking gun to a more meaningful reality to the experience. Shroomery.org is, is also filled with jester accounts. Um, compare some of the accounts and see if there are similarities. This quote was from my YouTube video about the jester. Um, a lady posted this in the comments in the video that I posted about uh, my first DMT jester video, actually. Um, here's the quote that she said. Uh, I just had my first DMT breakthrough last night, and it was a bad trip. After my third pull on the pipe, I looked at my partner, and I could see straight through his skin. I could see everything. I laid back, and then bang, I was in a room with four jesters, one... Uh, was doing something to me and the others were distracting me, laughing at me. It was all so intense. Uh, uh, all I was is breathing in and out, uh, breathing, and they were living it with every bre breath I took and they were getting some kind of sexual excitement from me being uh, attached to my body. Uh, they were waving their fingers saying no and laughing and it became some crazy scary fractal loop over and over and the same thing It just wouldn't end. They were drawing all the energy from my fear The room was small red white and black checkered and they were evil men. 
I couldn't take it and I kept looking at my partner for help but I couldn't speak uh, he was one of them and he was a jester with the, the evil big menacing grin and was part of it all I grabbed hold of the, the sheet I was laying on to tr try and feel his hand to see if he was real and just wanted to come back out of it or er, wanted to come back out yeah yeah uh, eventually I got to the point, uh, I got the power to speak and say, wake me up. I was grabbing at him, still half in the, in the place. It was terrifying. But the instant I came out of it, he said I was smiling the whole time with my eyes wide open and I never closed them. He was pretty freaked, but I felt no fear once I snapped out of it and I knew, and I knew I had to make sense of it all quickly because there were some deep lessons that I have learned. And then these quotes are from Shroomery, and I highlighted all the similarities that I found. Um, remember, I, I was in a place where everything was a moving psychedelic pattern. There were no walls, really, just moving psychedelic patterns with the chessboard texture and with black and white uh, in the background. Everything was like the neck of the Joker in the pick, uh, but with black instead of the red, like a chessboard. It was spinning a lot, and things went crazy pretty fast after that, and I pressed the, the brake, causing it to get too intense, and all I was seeing was like a spinning lottery machine, but with psychedelic dimension going in front of my eyes. was wondering if anyone else saw the Joker. Damn it, DMT is one hell of a drug, Jesus. Yes, my first breakthrough, I was introduced, introduced to the same clown Joker entity with the same chessboard patterns. Definitely experienced this. These are all quotes from Shroomery, by the way, the ones, the ones that I'm reading here. And then, uh, so this guy says, uh, I've been there. The first time I ever went all the way there, all the space around me was a checkered pattern fluctuating through the most full spectrum of colors I've ever seen. I was greeted by two Jester clown figures, and then it was all black. The other times I've been back, it was very circusy feel. And then another guy said, uh, I had a few Jester circus elements to my mushroom acid trips, especially with the closed eye on mushrooms the Jester figure looked at. Like, a lot like the pic you posted, it was holding a 3D box that spun hovering above its hands. One of the most de detailed closed eye visuals I've ever had. Uh, on acid, I would uh, describe the similar visuals resembling a clown, very kaleidoscopic, spiraling out and multiplying, very 2D, less detailed and, and profound. I think it's interesting that people have similar visuals. With one of the f my first uh, DMT trips, all my friends turned into clowns in the trees and everything turned into clowns. I was like, why, why, what the fuck, why clowns? Glad I didn't have a fear of them. Weird, uh, I did my first blast off a couple weeks ago and saw uh, a sort of jester elf smirking and repeatedly handed me some sort of cuber box. Never knew it was c so common to see. Pretty fascinating that uh, that this is so common and documented, but learning about it is so low on the human agenda. <clears throat> uh, so, I think that that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, that that's just a little more, you know, evidence or information about you know, the whole jester phenomenon. Um, I think it's kind of important that I sort of document that. Uh, see what what we can sort of make of it I'm sort of just pushing the snowball along and seeing if it'll kick, pick up speed but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it so uh, I'll see you guys next time